Joining me now with more in studio is Louise Turpin's sister, Teresa Robinette. Teresa, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Have you been able to speak with your nieces and nephews since this whole thing broke? Not yet. Um, I have been in personal contact with, um, I'm not going to give his name, but a detective that is working on the case and also CPS. Um, the detective gave CPS my phone number mm -hmm. and they are in contact. Um, they, at this time, I, I was willing to get up right now and make a trip to California because I, you know, that's our main goal is to make sure, me and my other siblings, to make sure that we're there for our nieces and nephews, you know, that, but they, at this time, we can't go see them. It's going to be a long process. Right now, they're where they need to be. Mm -hmm. They're um, the people, I do know that the people that are taking care of them, the hospital staff, has grown a bond to them. And Did you, so I know that you were in touch with your sister, Louise, for a long time, mm -hmm. and then, then it kind of dwindled, right? Um, we took family trips out there every year growing up, Fort Worth, Texas, then um, another place she lived in California once. I took a trip when I was seven or eight. And then we took trips out there every year when she moved back to Fort Worth, Texas. Again. She's the big sister. How, what's She's the age the difference oldest, between you two? 13 years. I was three when she left home. So you, we saw these pictures of the family in, in Disney which seems so mm -hmm. incongruous with what we know about what was happening in that house and how they were treating these children. Absolutely. Were you there for any of that, any no. of those trips? Um, Louise took us to Disney the one time we visited her in California. Um, that was before she moved back to Fort Worth, Texas, where we visited her most in Fort Worth, Texas. But she did take us to Disney that one time. That's the only time I've ever been to Disney. I do know that Louise has always been obsessed. Our family's always been obsessed with Mickey Mouse, but Louise has always been obsessed with Disney itself. Um, I know that her family, every time they lived in California, has always had the season passes to Disneyland, Disney World. And it's just, it's so hard to comprehend, you know, mm -hmm. when you know how they were treating the children. But obviously people are going to look at you and say, did you have any idea? Right. Was there any clue looking back now with the benefit of 2020? Absolutely not. Um, yes, I, from the family vacations every year, it went down to the the visitation stop, the visiting stopped, you know, she stopped coming in, we stopped going out there. Um, her and my mom grew further apart for a time and then they would start talking more and then they would stop, you know, and Louise has always distanced herself from the time she was 16 and ran away to Texas. Mm -hmm. She has always distanced herself from the family. Um, her siblings, us, um, are the ones that have really talked to her the most and I know I've talked to her more than any of them and, and this came as a total shock to you. this came as a total shock but you know every time i was on the phone with louise it was always perfect you know and in my mind i always believed that they were still living the life that they were living when we visited them mm -hmm. because it was always the high life david had good money they always had the nice homes and the cars and the season passes to disney and every time we went to texas she took us to six flags everything was perfect so there was no clue at all there was a descent um, by louise into some surprising behavior, including sexual behavior that she shared with Teresa. We'll talk about that right after the break. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.